Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 1 introduction. This chapter is divided into two lessons, data and database overview, and the second lesson is DBMS and SQL. What is a data? Data is simply information about something. Something like, for example, your name, your age, your address, and so on. So basically, this is information about you. This is mean this is data about you. Let us take another example. Let's say mobile, mobile company, model name, price, battery details, for example, camera details, and so on. So this is data about mobile. Data can be in many formats, like numbers, text, audio, picture, and so on. What is a database? A database is a place to store related data electronically in a systematic manner. That means if you consider a company, for example, there will be data about employees, departments, and jobs, which will be related to each other. There will be a particular employee working in a particular department with a particular job title. So to make a database of a company, we need to collect all the data about employees, about jobs, departments, and so on, which will be related to each other and stored in a database called company database. In database, data is stored and arranged in systematic manner. Data is stored in tables, in columns, and rows format. Let us see this example of a company database. We have here departments table and we have employees table. This is an example of a small database called company database. Data in tables stored in rows and columns format as we said. Each row represents one record. For example, this record represents one employee. The last name of the employee is Wallen. The job ID of the employee AD underscore assist. And the department ID of this employee is 10. So each record in the employees table represents only and only one employee. These are the columns of the table. For example, column last underscore name represent the name of all employees. The column job ID in the table employees represent the job ID of all employees. The department underscore ID column represent the department ID of all employees. But the record or the row represent a full information of a specific employee. The last name of the employee, the job ID, and the department ID. So in this lesson, we learned about data and database. I hope this video was informative for you, and thank you for watching.